Hello, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to introduce to you Katul's AI Mail Assistant feature in Outlook. Here's an overview of the topics we will cover in this video, what the AI Mail Assistant is, how to set it up, and how to use it with examples. What is the AI Mail Assistant in Katul's for Outlook? Kutul's AI Mail Assistant, a standout among the 100-plus advanced features of Kutul's for Outlook, is a masterpiece crafted by Extend Office. It represents the pinnacle of email innovation, merging the capabilities of AI models such as GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 with the everyday needs of Outlook users. The AI Mail Assistant transforms your Outlook experience with the following four key capabilities. Reply to emails. Optimize emails. Email summary. Translate emails. How to set up the AI Mail Assistant. Step 1. Install the AI Mail Assistant. To use the AI Mail Assistant feature, please go to the following download page to download and install Katul's for Outlook. Step 2. Activate the AI Mail Assistant feature. After installing Katul's for Outlook, go to the Katul's tab and click AI Mail Assistant. The AI Mail Assistant pane shows up at the right of the Outlook window. And at the same time, the AI Mail Assistant Guide dialog pops up. It introduces the four functions that the AI Mail Assistant offers. Click the Next button to continue. Another AI Mail Assistant Guide dialog pops up. It introduces the terms of use of this tool. We offer three kinds of our providers, OpenAI, Google AI, and Azure AI. Click OK to close the dialog. Step 3. Configure AI Mail Assistant Settings. In the AI Mail Assistant pane, please click the AI Configuration icon to open the AI Settings dialog box. You can configure the settings in three aspects, AI configuration, action, and knowledge. Settings for AI configuration. Go to the AI configuration tab in the AI settings dialog box. Select the AI provider from the AI provider drop-down list. You can select OpenAI, Google AI, or Azure AI. Here I select OpenAI. Copy and paste your API key into the API key text box. By default, the API key becomes hidden once pasted. Click and hold the I icon to reveal it. Select the model from the model drop-down list. If you don't know how to create the API key, please click the corresponding How to Create an API Key link in the dialog box. Finally, click the Save button. Settings for action. As usual, click the AI configuration icon to open the AI settings dialog box. Go to the action tab. This is to define the model's role and specify the tasks it should perform within that role. There are four tabs, reply to emails, optimize emails, email summary, and translate emails. Navigate to each tab to customize the role prompt and command prompt according to your preferences. Please note, the default settings for role prompt and command prompt have been pre-configured for your convenience. Feel free to modify these or create new ones to better suit your needs. Click the Save button. Settings for Knowledge As usual, click the AI configuration icon to open the AI settings dialog box. Go to the Knowledge tab. This enhances the accuracy and context relevance of AI's replies by analyzing and learning from past email communications. You can manually add historical emails to the knowledge. Or enable the automatically add option, so that emails are immediately added to the knowledge after sending, helping the AL system to learn and adapt better. To manually add historical emails to the knowledge, 
Please click the AI configuration icon, then go to the Knowledge tab. Click the Manually Add button. Select the emails you want to learn. Check the checkbox before the account to select all emails of an account. Or check the checkbox before an email to select emails one by one. Or click the recent one month emails link to select emails of the recent one month. Or click the recent one year emails link to select emails of the recent one year. Click OK. A dialog pops up, click Yes. Another dialog pops up to remind you of the number of emails that have been learned successfully. Click OK. Finally you can click the Save button to save the setting. To automatically add emails to the knowledge, still click the AI configuration icon. Still on the Knowledge tab. Check the Automatically Add checkbox. Choose the email addresses from whose emails you wish to add by marking the checkbox next to each address. Finally, click the Save button to save the setting. After the configuration of the AI Mail Assistant, we can now use the four key features of AI Mail Assistant. Use the AI Mail Assistant with examples in Outlook. Here is the four key features of AI Mail Assistant, Reply to Emails, Optimize Emails, Email Summary, Translate Emails. Reply to emails. After selecting the email or the text in the email you want to reply, click the reply to emails icon in the AI Mail Assistant pane. Click the generate button. During the generation process, if you don't want the content generated, you can click the stop button. You can see the generated reply is automatically inserted in the email body as a draft. You can click the copy button to copy the whole content, or the refresh button to regenerate a new reply. Optimize emails. After selecting the draft email, or the text in the draft email you want to rephrase. Click the optimize emails icon in the AI Mail Assistant pane. Then click the generate button. You can see the optimized content is generated. Please note, during the generation process, if you don't want the content generated, you can click the stop button. Now the optimized content is generated, click the insert button to insert it in the email body. You can click the copy button to copy the whole content, or the refresh button to regenerate a new content. Email summary. After selecting the email, or the text in the email you want to summarize. Click the Email Summary icon, then click the Generate button. Please note, during the generation process, if you don't want the content generated, you can click the Stop button. You can see the summary of the email is generated successfully. You can click the Copy button to copy the whole content, or the Refresh button to regenerate a new content. Translate Emails After selecting the email, or the text in the email you want to translate, Click the Translate Emails icon in the AI Mail Assistant pane. Click the Generate button. Please note, during the generation process, if you don't want the content generated, you can click the Stop button. You can see the translated content is generated successfully. You can click the Copy button to copy the whole content, or the Refresh button to regenerate a new content. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you never miss an update. See you next time.